Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video, and today we are going to do a character guide on Celtius. So Celtius is a <clears throat> one of the first batches of the Force Enhancement 50 characters. Um, if you're not familiar with him, he is basically a healing battery type of character. He even has revive, which is very good. But I would say he's more of an offensive support character, right? So he's going to do those support things you want, but I think he's going to have a little bit of a bite to his... Uh, to his spear here or to his weapon, he's gonna be able to do some decent damage, right? So um, in this video, we're gonna look at his calls, his artifacts and his spheres, and then we're gonna take a look at him in a little bit of a showcase and kind of get maybe a sneak peek at this uh, this new, uh, you know, HP retain mechanic that comes with Force Enhancement 50, right? So when looking at him, let's start by talking about his calls. I actually think his calls are very good, like actually like up there, like very, very good calls. One is on his 15, um, it does do a party attack and max brave up, which is solid, right? That's just party stats, but it does do a heal. So healing on calls can be very valuable, especially if you're trying to meet an HP requirement for a fight. But then as LD, I think I do really, really like the LD because uh, this is going to be a party brave and HP damage up 20%. And then you get brave gains on your brave hit. So it's going to help the party brave gain. And it's a very free and easy 20% HP damage up which HP damage up is probably, if I'm looking for just like generic party buffs or enemy debuffs, something that enables more HP damage is always what I'm looking for on a call. And 20% is a really nice number that's just very free and easy, right? So um, I think his calls are actually excellent. Um, definitely the type of call I think would be worth going for just the LD for the call. I think it is a very useful one, right? Um, let's go ahead and look at his artifacts and his spheres, right? So artifacts, I don't have them yet. I haven't even like done his event to start getting them. I kind of hopped in here as soon as I could. But what you're going to want on here is you really want attack and max brave on Celtius. Um, so I would say you want to do, you for sure want his C50, which is ignomat Ignomatic Youth Up 2 Star, which is going to be a party attack and max brave. So you for sure want two of those. And then for the other one, I would say some split between attack and max brave. So either um, uh, attack 108 and max brave 330, one of those two is fine and I'm gonna talk about the significance. I think attack and max brave both have good significance on Celtius and I think you can kind of build him either way or maybe with a mix depending on what you wanna do, right? But I, you for sure want that enigmatic youth two star. You for sure want that. And then once again, you go attack or max brave depending on what you wanna do, right? And so let's talk about the spheres and kind of talk about why I recommend attack or max brave. So Celtius being a support based character is doing like a lot of battery, right? And there are different parts of the kit, sometimes scales off of max brave, sometimes scales off of attack. So for example, on his EX, he does a really nice revive party heal um, and the battery scales heavily on max brave. So it's like, yeah, for that EX battery, you want max brave, right? Um, but then on the LD, for instance, it does a big battery scale on his attack. So once again, you're going to get battery there scaled on attack. And then also within there, he's getting brave gains and um, extra damage depending on the HP damage that he deals. So then, you know, by having higher attack might help you deal more HP damage, but also having max brave helps that. So the way I would think of Celtius is he's a support character, but you want to build him very offensive mindedly because his battery is going to scale on max brave and attack, which are very offensive numbers. So I feel like Attack and Max Brave Spheres together are probably the best ones for A slot. So I think like Sephiroth, Yang, uh, Gilgamesh here, I think are really solid ones because they're Attack Max Brave Spheres. Um, I think those are probably some of the better ones you can throw down. Now, if you find you're liking the Max Brave battery a little bit more, you could just go like full Max Brave Spheres and go crazy. You could throw down something like Bart's, which is like a 20% Max Brave if you want to go full Max Brave build. You definitely could do that, right? And then C slot, he's got a lot of decent options. Because he's healing, you've got Maria, Lud, Alphanod. And Alphanod, you don't even need healing, but like Maria, Lud, and then um, Iris here is a very good one. These are like, re they're HP recovering triggers and they're party attack ups. So just any of those party attack ups that's going to be on a healing trigger, I think work really, really well for Celtius. So Iris, I decided to choose there, but I think Maria and Lude would also be excellent choices there. You could use Alphanod. The only reason I wouldn't use Alphanod is he's the really generic trigger that like anybody can hit and you want to save your Alphanod spheres for characters that don't heal. So if I have a healing character, I would rather use Lude, Maria, or Iris because those are ones that require healing and not every character can do that. All right, so with that, uh, I think we can just hop into the showcase. So uh, funny thing, if you didn't see my summon video, um, 
My summons were kind of crazy good. <laughs> so we'll just say that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got a selfie. Nice. All right. We'll take the selfie here. <clears throat> um, and I'm trying a new fight. So I did get some people to recommend some fights to me. And we're going to try the Rex fight and see if this Rex fight is going to be nice and not interfere with me too much. This might be a good go-to here. Um, now, I I did bring Lena just for some HP shenanigans, just to like have insane HP. We're doing a triple support squad here, by the way. Uh, so we'll start with Lena. We'll do the, the Windrake Arrow here. Um, and then I think I'm actually, I would normally double Windrake Arrow, but I think I am just going to get her BT flowing right away. Uh, we'll throw down some Rydia too, just to make sure that we're safe. <clears throat> all right perfect <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and get the bt effect going and then with celtius i have full kit i have him blue i got him totally maxed out the only thing is is i did not commit to greening the bt so it is plused with a book on it but he does have um an ultima weapon on so he's getting like all that stuff now celtius is crystal color i do not believe i have touched yet so it's going to be just like a base celtius uh, without the crystal room buffs, right? Now, Celtius does open with EX. So the one kind of flaw I would say with Celtius, or one of his big flaws, being a healing battery support character, I want force charging, right? He doesn't reliably force charge because his force charging abilities actually is EX, which is kind of unique. So it is nice. He has force charging. So let's pop the EX. And he starts with it, so it's usually not a bad idea to pop it. <clears throat> So you're going to see it's going to be an instant turn, and we did get a nice force charge on that. So the EX is going to be an instant turn. It's going to revive and heal the party. It's going to battery the party scaled on his max grave. Fills the party's EX gauge by 20%, which is nice, so it's EX charging. Restores his skill use of skill 1 and skill 2, and he gets a free turn, which is kind of cool, right? <clears throat> and then it does give him his overhead buff, which is called Two Wings Opposing at the end. Uh, this is going to be a party overflow up, eye brave up, brave damage up. Um, HP damage up, uh, brave regen, HP regen. So just a lot of really good party auras there. And that's something that Celtius is known for, not just the healing and battery, but just good party auras, right? Like just making the party look good. So we'll definitely take that. Now with Celtius, I'm just going to hop into a burst phase. That way we can get his burst effect up. <clears throat> and then um, we can just show off all of his skills, right? So let's just kind of go down the line. Um, we'll start with the BT, which is blaze thrust. Yeah, you see the Brave gaining there is crazy. So he did a mill AoE, right? Like, not the craziest. Um, but once again, he's more about support than damage. He, you will see damage, though, with the BT, which we're going to show in a minute. So this is going to do an AoE attack that we saw there. It does heal the bat, the party scaled on the HP damage that he deals, right? Um, and then uh, it's going to be a party battery scaled on the HP damage. Yeah, so it's going to heal and battery scaled on the HP damage. So another reason why, like, attack might be pretty good there. He gets a buff called Half Phoenix, which is going to be a max brave up to himself and a party attack and max brave up. Let's go ahead and hit Reversal Drive, which is the 35. Okay, 1.2 mil AoE. That's the other thing with Celtis. He's kind of like an AoE damage dealer. So if you're looking for AoE damage, um, he's the kind of character where like single target, like individually the damage isn't impressive, but AoE, that was pretty good damage, right? Like 1.2 mil, that's the equivalent of doing like one or two and a half million right there, right? So... A pretty good on turn damage and then that also gives him the half phoenix buff and then also um and it just brave gains between hps right so this one doesn't actually heal but it just does pretty solid damage uh then let's go ahead and let's hit the ld which is called revelation see what this damage looks like and this is with one bt effect right 2.2 aoe so once again yeah very balanced aoe damage dealer so this battery scaled on attack um, he gets a buff called Watcher of Vanadiel. I don't know if I pronounced that right, um, but it's going to be an attack up for himself, party brave, and HP damage up. So this is the really, this is the really nice buff that you get on the call, right? The HP damage up 20%. I like that. And then brave gain on brave hits, which is scaled on 10% of max brave. So this here is the big reason, like I think people would, like maybe favor max brave over attack, is because of the the way that this interacts with the brave gains, right? So the for this buff. Um, having more max brave is going to help the brave gains on that. So I opted to go kind of for both, but on the artifacts, you may choose max brave 330 if you like that brave gaining a little bit better there, right? Um, then we'll just go ahead and hit the FR ability just to hit it. Uh, we'll talk about it when we actually go into the FR phase, what it's doing. <clears throat> but let's watch. And of course, my boy Astos coming out for this one. They're pretty nice little pairing. Yeah. So right now I'm not seeing anything too crazy about the damage. We'll do the EX for a little ramp here. During his own burst phase, that's fine. Yeah, we got a solid 10% ramp there. 
Um, the other thing to keep in mind, we'll hit the BT here. My Celtius is Force Enhanced 50. So we are going to see like, you know, depending on if they survive the Force time, we will see the, the HP damage retain. If I get time, I kind of want to do a little video on it, like a full like guide to it, but it's pretty simple. All right, so we're out of the burst phase. Now we have his burst effect up. So let's talk about what his burst is doing, right? So it's called Luminous Lance. Um, and keep in mind, mine isn't green, but I'm going to talk about it as if it were green. So it's going to put a gold debuff called Luminous Lance down for eight turns. You see the enemies have that for eight turns. It's a very good debuff. And then the burst effect for the party is going to be Brave Gains up, Brave Damage Limit up, HP Damage up, and HP Damage Limit up. And he's going to get a special HP plus attack called Crystal Diver. So this Luminous Lance debuff for eight turns, this is an HP poison, which is going to be 1% of the enemy's HP. So the more HP the enemy has, the stronger this is going to be. HP damage up 30%. So you combine that with the other HP damage up, it's kind of like getting a 50% HP damage up. Defense minus 30, and they're basically paralyzed. They can't attack, or they can't act at all. And all that is packed into one debuff slot. And because it's gold frame, the enemies can't do a darn thing about it. So if you do really like Celtius, I mean, his BT effect is very powerful. Um, I think he's the type of character that if you're going to go for him and use him a lot, getting the BT isn't the worst idea at all. Um, we're going to go ahead, sure. Let's do uh, Aeris BT effect here. And then next time Aerith comes up, we'll do some ramping. Well, we've got Selfie. We'll just ramp with Selfie and take it to the house. And then we'll be able to use Celtius's FR on this next turn. But we definitely got to take a look at his, you know, his BT plus attack, right? See how powerful that is? Yeah, look at that. 1.8 mil on the poison. That's a nice poison. And can you imagine on like some of these insane like Spiritus bosses with all the HP they have? Kind of crazy. Um, what are we going to do? So with Lena, we're going to turn you into Selfie for a moment. We are going to wall out. We are going to wall out to the house here. And this will definitely get us to FR mode, which is great. Oh, this selfie has a Halloween decoration. Nice. That must be a unique weapon costume. Very cool. <clears throat> All right. Perfect. And we got one more. All right, and then we should be bopping back into Lena mode. All right, and then Lena, we got FR ready, but we're not going to use it. We're going to hit Windrake and make sure that we got the full Windrake here. That way, if they try to debuff us, which I don't think this fight tries to debuff you. We'll see. All right, and the big fat follow-up from Lena. We'll take that. The HP Poison. Yeah, Dude, the HP poison feels good, and you don't have to have them green to get that, right? It's just that, and once again, look, negated the turnout completely. This is a pretty uh, interesting character, right? So I'm going to hit Crystal Diver now before I go into FR. This is the HP plus attack. Let's see what, this is an 11 HP dump. Let's see what the damage looks like here. Okay, 3 mil AoE is quite strong, you guys. For an AoE damage dealer, that's really, like, I think... Because I'm not really investing, I don't know that I'm going to go for like Renoa's new stuff. I mean, I've already got her, so she'll just be a free upgrade, right? But I'm definitely not going for twins. Um, this could be like my my AoE option. That was very impressive damage. So Crystal Diver, party battery scaled on attack. Um, Brave gains in between, heals the party. Huge party battery scaled on the damage he does. Extends his buffs by one turn. EX gauge plus 20%. Big 11 dump. That was really impressive. I'm very impressed with that, actually. All right, let's get to him again and get his FR up. Let's get his FR. Yeah, dude, with that BT effect. So I would say, like, without the BT, he's just, like, a solid support character. But you get the BT, then he's really bringing damage for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Double sneeze. All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll let them lose their turns from this gold frame. Like, that's crazy, too, because it's like gold frame. They can't do anything about it, and they just eat the poison. All right, time to go into force mode. This is called Eclipse Lance. Yeah, honestly, not having him green, I don't really feel like I'm missing out on much. The only thing I'm missing out on 
is I can't do do the BT effect and then have him do a dedicated burst phase. But he only loses a little bit of stats on the auras, but he gets his full like insaneness, right? All right, so let's talk about his FR, Eclipse Lance. Uh, it heals the party. Um, oh, and we have Overflow Healing, by the way. So that's the other reason I comboed him with Lena, just to like get insane HP pools because he kind of like feeds into that with the Overflow Healing. Um, six AoE Brave Split HP Attack. Um, the HP damage conditions are actually pretty good. You just have to do a magic ability for 40% and you have to have 100% HP for 40%. So as long as you're using magic damage, like it's very, very easy, right? And so Aerith should be able to echo pretty good because look at the 40% for having full HP. So on Echo here, I'm looking at 120, 125, something like that, which that's a nice echo for Aerith. Like, as, any FR condition that doesn't require attacking that she can meet, I like it. Yeah, there you go, 123%. We'll echo again. We'll take it. Perfect. And then we'll do a magic damaging attack, which should be a solid 80%. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do, uh, sure, Fury Brand sounds fine. Okay, and this should be like 80%. <clears throat> what do we got? Yep, 83%, perfect. And then we've got Lena. Lena will throw down an Echo, sure. All right, now we're just gonna try to get to Celtius and see some big damage with higher percentages, right? So what I might do, you know, to kind of like end the video or to get towards that, I might just ramp a little bit with Aerith just to artificially push this gauge up to, I don't know, eight, 900%. And dude, these guys are still paralyzed. I'm just like 100% safe. Let's do some healing winds because this should be a nice ramp, right? On healing wind. Yeah, 93%. Let's just crank off a few of those. Oh, these guys. Okay, okay, I see. These guys have the annoying force mechanic where like they heal stuff back, which I guess for a showcase, I guess I don't really care about. I'm not like trying to beat the fight. So this might be a good showcase fight because their force isn't like really messing with me other than their healing back damage, but I don't care. And I can still see the damage I'm doing. So this might be a pretty good one. Let's do a seal evil here with Aerith. And actually this fight's even better because them healing back means I can go longer in a fight. So it's actually kind of a good thing. Yeah, and they're just gonna heal like 90% of it back. That's fine. All right, we got. I gotta see this HP plus attack at like 900% here. What do we got? Actually, do I have EX up here? Hold up. If I have EX, yeah, let's EX and do a ramp. <clears throat> let's see how he ramps on the EX. 70%. Okay, yeah, so we're pretty much at max gauge. Now let's drop a crystal diver. What is this thing doing? Oof. Yeah, dude, 30 mil AoE. That's strong. Because this is full damage. It's not split. So it's like, let me double check. It, it should be, yeah, it is full. So what that means is that 30 mil, if this were say a three target fight, it still would have done 30 mil. So that would have been like 90 million damage right there. That's pretty dang good. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Celtius. I think he's actually pretty dang good. He's not a must pull, but supports are definitely like the type of unit you want to have multiples of in your box. So I think if you like him and want to go for him, he is very much worth it. But he's also like skippable for a veteran that has a lot of support characters. So let me know what you think of this guy. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.